Hey guys and welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday. That means we're using Cosmic Bell. So usually like this deck, I usually get like one duel in because it takes a while for this, duel, this deck to set up its plays. But once it gets going, it is go time. So you know, hopefully uh, the video will still be entertaining. I've been noticing that about this deck ever since it came on to, um, on to, what the hell is this called? Vitamin Y. So yeah. What the hell got taken off for it? I guess it was, what, the Fire King, you know, thing? Yeah. You know, so many new decks on Diamond Wily, like, you know, like, almost all of them, just a complete U-Haul, just overhaul the freaking deck, just okay. Well, I wish they would do it like how Dev Pro does it, and, you know, draw, then draw. So, you know, you can decide who's going first besides this button right here, because this is pretty much how you tell if you're going first or second. This button's not here, and you ain't going first, so. No, uh, yeah, kind of wish that's how it went, but no, they didn't do it like that, so. Uh, you know, it's going to be ass as fuck that this guy sent a whole bunch of backgrounds, so pretty much the only fucking shit that he has in his hand is fucking Gorilla. That's redonkulous, like, okay. I'm going to summon jail too. Okay. Like, that's fucking redonkulous, like... Really? 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 Like, why? 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 Just so much background. Just tanky and background. That's all this full guy. All this full guy. Okay, I'm guessing it's fine because you're not really responding. So, I'll go ahead and just get my effect on. Because you're not fucking responding to me. I hate when people don't respond, like, all I need is a little bit of K, that's all I need is just a K or a KK or... That's all I need. I don't ask for much up in here. It's a K, yes, it's sure, yeah, fine, confirm, yes, go ahead, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but... Some people don't want to give it to me. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hell yeah, I'm a sink for eight. And you know exactly who I'm going to. Not fucking, uh... Not fucking, uh... Feels. No. Box. Boxia. Boxia. I'll get my effect. No. One, two, three. Unless you got a warning. Unaffected by traps. One, two, three. I use three different elements, therefore, you neg hella hard. Whoo, hella hard. These two as well? Neg hella hard. Whoo, ah, stings. This one too, all three elements. I did water, fire, and dark. Shuffle. Thank you. 28. 28. Sword. Excuse me? Hell yeah. Go ahead and set this call to Haunted. I'm good. You'll probably throw, you'll probably summon the grill and throw the chair at it. I really don't care. Or maybe you'll get the bear. MST, I will chain. <laughs> I will chain. And therefore by chaining, I will get, uh, who do I want? Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think who I want. I don't care, but yeah. Get my effect. Excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you in attack mode. Yeah, it's attack mode. Draw. The breeze. I don't need you right now. I could actually tag you off for someone else, actually. Yeah, I could. I can go your effect, destroy you, summon someone back from the graveyard. Uh, preferably uh, Sua. Yeah, I can go for another play. Uh, hell yeah. Back to the effect, I destroy you and summon a little bit of a, uh, actually I'll summon you because yeah, and then uh, and then I also get a uh, beyond effect, and beyond I'll summon you in defense mode, I will normal summon you, sink 8 again, <laughs> just 
the punishment. Just, just fucking get it, man. Just fucking get it. Summon you again. Alright, put these two back. Like you don't, you don't need cards. Fuck needing cards. I think that might be game though. I think that might be game. Nice and powerful. Nice and fucking powerful. I didn't even need you though. I just opened up like great. I wonder what all that background that he had was. Like what could that possibly have been? Just, he just set a whole bunch of fucking back row like, excuse me? I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. I didn't even see what he said. I, I want to get, I want to get another uh, duel in real quick. But excuse me? Like, you set all that back row and none of it was to stop me? Like, maybe because I was unaffected by the trap cards. That's probably it. No. Because I bet one of those had to be like bottomless or compulse or something. But, you know, I'm unaffected by traps. That's why he's like, unaffected by traps? Like, see? Therefore, summon unaffected by traps, you got that warning? That yeah, warning is the only thing that you got to stop, man. If you don't got that, you can go fuck yourself. Anyway, let's get another duel in. Of course, I'll be going first, because setup is important. And, of course, having my monster on the field is important. Uh... Yeah, I'll take the duel slow. Go ahead. <coughs> Freaking 50 card deck up in here. Alright. So there's not a lot of 50 card deck I can think of. I think of like maybe something light swollen related, but it seems like just something back row related. Uh you have to tribute. Oh my god. To summon that. Level five. Like excuse me? Excuse me? What's your rating? Oh, 100 zero. Oh, okay. Let's say, what the fuck's your rating? Like, are you bad because you're bad? Or, it's, it's fine. fine. Normal summon GL2. Is that okay? GL2, it helps this deck so much. Like, will it ever be top tier? I'm not sure, but GL2 helps me. You know what the problem with this deck? One of the major problems with this deck is that the good cards for this deck come out the same de pack that Kleeput come out, and Kleeput gets stopped by uh, Still Storm Roach, which will obviously be a main deck staple. I mean, extra deck staple. <laughs> and this deck also does. So that's gonna be kind of bad. That's gonna be like fucking terrible if that ever happens. Like, just like, oh, well, fucking casualty up in this bitch. So, fuck you. Donculus. We'll go ahead and sink eight. We're gonna go right into our fucking boss monster and fucking bounce shit back because fuck back row. So fucking blah. Effect. Bounce three of your cards back to deck. One, two, three. And shuffle. Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm not gonna stop cooking until you put him back. Two, three, quit. Yup. That's fine. So, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna suck. Swear to God, can. Like I said, uh, Roach stops pendulum summoning of Kleeput, and it's also gonna stop your. You're uh, you're synchroing, so sorry. You guys are just a casualty. Maybe if you guys would have got your card this one, man. Actually, you know what? Actually, getting your card this one is not even good either, because you would go summon GL2, GL2 effect, pitcher two, and then your opponent would just go vanity's emptiness, and you would have egged. So I don't know. I don't know. They just take a little bit too much setup for this deck to be good. I guess I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, they're the best synchro deck ever. Like, oh my god! Like, they just touch each don't just touch themselves, and touch each other, and just go off with their plays. So, definitely, I just I really like the deck. Just you can't eat them sometimes. And sometimes when you can't eat them, that really does suck. Cool. Open up with one of the few Armageddon knights. I can't remember how many Armageddon knights are in this deck. I think maybe one or two. Two, is it two Armageddon Knights and one Dark Ruffer? No, it's one Armageddon Knight one Dark Ruffer. I don't know that. I don't know that. Interesting. Interesting, Daniel. 
Interesting choice. Go ahead, sir. Please, sir. Please take your time. I'm saying okay. I'm not drawing all these bixies, but okay. Yes. Tuning. Okay. Fine. What to say? You gonna go ahead and get your card? Actually, it doesn't even have a choice. It's mandatory, and he already activated it, so it has to resolve. So he doesn't have a choice. Junk synchron. That's cool. Cool story, bro. Hell. I was really anticlimactic, to tell you the truth. Really. I'm gonna go for a Midas. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Midas. Sink five. You left my armor getting high life? Fine, fuck you, I'll go for a Midas. Armada, keeper of booties. Duck. No effect. Uh, go ahead. So I guess we're gonna summon your junk synchron and junk junk what is it junk synchron junk junk sy I get the confused junk synchron and something warrior synchron and warrior I get those two confused I think it's synchron which is the monster and then junk warrior is the the synchron right I think so I don't know what the fuck am I talking about that that's I ask myself all the fucking time what the fuck am I talking about like excuse me. Oh man, I could have just went off with my play right now. That's cool. That's cool. I decided to set him when I could have just played him. Damn, he 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 is not doing too hot. Oh, I have to have no cards on the field. Ooh, I have to have no cards on the no other cards on the field to use. In fact, I cheated in my first duel. I cheated. Ooh, I cheated. Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? I did cheat though. I really did. Oh, I'm a terrible person. I should be crucified. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I could always go for him next turn, so. <laughs> I totally forgot that you had to have no other cards, on, no other monsters on the field. Yeah, if you control no other monsters. My bad. I'm bad. I did it. I did it. I, I was totally like, oh, yeah, that's so good that play. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I could do it again. Like... No, I can't. <laughs> uh, well, he never called me out on it, so yeah, maybe yes, I can. Actually, you know what? I can actually go for a Goyo Guardian who's unaf who can't be destroyed by battle and is unaffected by traps. That sounds pretty chill. You don't even have any extra anything. Troll charge. Troll charge. God charge. Yeah. That card's not stupid broken. Should be banned. No. That's fine. Is that why you're allowing me to kill all your monsters so you can summon them back all simultaneously? So charge is broke. I don't care what anybody says because they're wrong. There's nothing balancing or anything about soul charts. It's it's broke. Fair God, it, we should there should be political parties. I even said to my man, this should be a political party. It's the freaking uh, chargeless crats versus the soul publicans. The soul publicans they think that soul charge is balanced and it shouldn't be hidden to stay at three because it is, you know. <laughs> He's like, I feel guilty. Like, damn, dude. Like, I, it wasn't like that. I'm just saying, it's broke. Like, it, it, you don't even need to feel. He's like, I feel guilty about it. Like, damn, like that though. Like, I have nothing to say about that. He's like, you win. I feel guilty about it. I like that man. He's honorable. 
He knows that it's broke. I swear, if Soul Charge doesn't get banned, like that that is that's the number one thing on my on my list. My wish list. Like if I would do a wish list instead of a ban list prediction, like a wish list, Soul Charge would be banned. Like Soul Charge needs to be banned. There's no excuse for it. Even at one, it's still a fucking sacky piece of shit. Then it would literally just be like, Chaw, oh Soul Charge, dirt <laughs> So no, no no no. Soul Charge needs to be banned. It's stupid, it's sacky, and yeah. It, it, uh, I, I like that guy. I like that guy. But yeah, it's the, the charge, pu the, uh, what is it? What did I say? The chargeless crats. Yeah, the chargeless crats versus the soul publicans. The soul publicans think that soul charge is a balanced card that can stand three. And of course, the chargeless crats, they're like, no, that card's broken. It needs to be banned. So you already know what boat I'm in. You already know what boat my opponent was in and a lot of other people, you know. But it's kind of, I just, I, I don't understand the mentality. I, I don't. Like, I need to, I probably need to sit down and talk to a, uh, to a soul, pub, a soul publican. I need, I, cause I, I just don't understand. I don't understand what in their, what goes through their mind to possibly make them think that that card is balanced. Like, how? How? Because you can't attack? Because you pay life points? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. How? How? Resources. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game of resources. Fuck life points. All right. I will upstart. I will warning. I will soul charge. I will space time trap hole. I will Michael J D. Fuck life points. Life points are just another resource that I can throw away. And as long as my life points are at a one and yours drop from zero, I still. And there's no bonus. There's no brownie points. There's no brownie points in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? It doesn't matter if I beat you at 8,000 life points or at one life point. The thing is, I win. And Soul Shard is a card just like that, where you pay life points, which are clearly expendable in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, to get back resources. You plus, as long as you summon more than one monster, you plus off of that card. That card is broken. I don't understand. People are like, oh, well, well, Soul Charge is fine, but Monster Reborn should be banned. Like, okay, why? Because you can attack? Or, could be, or because you can revive, you know, a monster from your opponent's graveyard? Is that it? Because I actually, I actually typed, I think, I can't remember, but it was like, Monster Reborn should be banned and stay banned because you can Monster Reborn your opponent's BOS and that's broke. Okay, but Monster Reborn your, through Soul Charge, your BLS and more is okay? Oh, but I can't attack. But I can still use my effects and I can still special summon more. There's no stipulation. You know, there's no something, something stopping Soul Charge. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. You know? It's not like it says, summon the monsters, they're fixed and they get it. Or summon the monsters and you can't additional normal summon. Or additional summon. You know? Like pot. Like, no. You do whatever you want. Soul Charge, all you back. Tell your life points. You can't attack. Do whatever you want. Go wild. Go crazy. Make a fucking Quasar. Go off and make a fucking uh, Draco Sack with a Felgrant with a Startup Spark and lock down your opponent. Just do whatever. Go hog wild crazy because that's pretty much that card promotes. Just I will go out craziness. And I, I know that as soon as everybody saw that card, they were like, ban it immediately. Emergency ban it. But I don't know. People just got power hungry with it. They kept on playing it and they're just like, oh my god, Soul Charge is so good. It can't be banned. I love Soul Charge. You know, I hear some people are like, Soul Charge shouldn't be banned because it allows the tier 2 decks to compete with the tier 1 decks. Like, mm, uh, and the tier 1 decks can't use Soul Charge? You know, just because they can doesn't mean they can't. Doesn't mean they can't. Just because they don't doesn't mean they can't, you know? Fucking Telenites. Literally, I think that would think that would be just a great, you know, uh, hit for Tele Knights without hitting Tele Knights. Just take fucking Soul Charge, you know. Especially since we're gonna have three Call of the Haunteds and three uh, fucking uh, uh, the the fucking Phantom Springs. You know what's what? You know what's really retarded? Really fucking retarded? I'm act I I I regularly look at people's balance predictions. I know mine wasn't the best. Uh, probably went a little bit too hard on Infernities by you know banning Archie. Probably could go down to one. Should be fine, but. Uh, I just don't feel like correcting myself, but when people are coming up about that, I just ignore it because I really don't care. Uh, anyway, uh, I was actually look looking at people's balance predictions, and what's so stupid is that they're like, Call the Haunted should be limited to one because it's, you know, too powerful, and Intellinite's being able to summon from your graveyard, like, that's too powerful. P 
but then they never hit Soul Charge at all. So I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Call the Haunted should be hit, but Soul Charge is fine. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I'm done. I'm done. Just give me the band that's already sucking. Just see Soul Charge ban and fucking love it. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I I, I kind of went on a little Soul Charge right time. I apologize for about five minutes. So uh, I could probably could have gotten another one, but I'm nah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the duels and my rant. I cheated in the first duel, but oh well. You guys are probably going to comment that before watching the rest of the video, but like, you know you cheated, right, Daniel? Like, I forgot, okay? <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow uh, using, uh, well, of course, Super Icy Bell. Uh, still trying to get um, uh, euthanasia working. Like I said, just, again, I'll just chalk that up, that last... That last Super Rising Pound, I just chalked it up to me just being really unlucky to never draw into a revival card. So we'll try it again, but like I said, I just I wish I had one more spell revival card for Doom Shaman. Just one more. One more and this deck would be perfect. That's all I need is one more. I can't to make a Dark Magician structure deck and just give Dark Magician uh, a Silver Cry, like a, a Spellcaster Cry or something like that. That would That would be awesome. Just revive a normal spellcaster from your graveyard. I think that'd be cool. I think Dark Magician definitely deserves it. You guys are probably like saying, like, you motherfucker, Doom Shaman is a normal spellcaster in the graveyard, isn't he? Like, I don't have any alternative motives. I think Dark Magician deserves a structure deck and he deserves a card just like Blue Eyes. I mean, what? What? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, Supervisor Bell. Thanks for watching.